So, do you want to buy or sell Solana NFTs? I'll show you how in this quick tutorial. My name's Seb Monty and I cover everything in the Solana ecosystem to take you from zero to hero. Let's dive in. Here we are at Tensor.Trade. This is currently the number one NFT marketplace on Solana. But first, a little bit of history. This recent tweet shows the volume on the marketplaces. Believe it or not, Solana Art was actually the first marketplace and they had most of the transactions. Then Magic Eden came along and they had over 90% of the transactions. Hyperspace basically linked everybody and unfortunately they don't have many transactions these days. Fractal's small and has always been quite small and many in the ecosystem aren't fans of hate swap. In some ways they damaged the ecosystem more than they helped it. But as we can see at the moment, Tensor is the place to be. So I'll show you that one. Firstly though, I do love Magic Eden. They helped out Solana a lot and they deserve a special place in our hearts. Now on to Tensor. This is Tensor's Twitter page. Their Twitter handle is at Tensor underscore HQ. Then if you click on their link tree, this will give you all the links. We'll of course just go trade on Tensor. Once we're here, let's connect our wallet. Connect wallet, Phantom, and it pops up to our tutorial wallet. But first, let me show you something in Phantom. In Phantom, I've got different wallets, as we can see here. I wanna buy NFTs using this wallet, but I don't have any Solana in it yet. So I'm gonna move some Solana in it now. By the way, you should customize your wallets by clicking on this icon and either selecting the NFT if you have one or just finding an emoji. I use the diamond for staking, the poo emoji for scam coins and the picture frame for NFTs until I have my first NFT. Now I need some Solana in this wallet. So let's get some Solana in there. When it comes to buying NFTs on Solana, you pretty much only ever buy them in Solana. Sometimes USDC, but not very often. We'll send to NFTs, and we'll just go with two soul. Next, and send. That's going through, that's done. Back to NFTs, two soul. We're good to go. Our wallet's connected, let's go shopping. Firstly, let's orientate ourselves. This shows all of the top trending collections. We can sort it by one hour volume, 24 hour volume, and seven day volume. Seven day with total volume being 21,000 sold. Total volume in history, you can see Mad Lads has done very well. And we can also click on this total volume and this will sort everything in this way. This isn't super important for you to buy your first NFT. How to pick good NFTs, when to sell NFTs, all of that information we'll have to cover in the intermediate course. For now, let's just go and buy one. So we'll go back to trending, 24 hours, and here we can see the collections again. We'll have a look at new mints. These are some recent NFT projects. New NFT projects carry a lot more risk. We can also do filters. We need a smaller floor price. Now this shows the floor price and the sale price. So it's quite good when these things are quite close together because if you buy it and then you wanna sell it, there's not gonna be much that you'll lose. Now, of course, if you know the name of the collection, you can just come up here and just type it in. Let me just show you a collection to navigate. We won't buy this one because it's a little bit more than two soul. This is the Degenerate Ape Academy. Here we have a graph of the floor price over time. We can change the settings over like this, but we'll definitely cover this more in another tutorial. We can toggle this off and we've got plenty of other features here as well. We can also go up to our wallet address and then have a look at app settings and we can change things here as well. I do suggest for the tutorial, changing the preferred explorer to soul scan. And if you're really new, change it to light. We'll cover pro in the intermediate course. This makes it a little bit more simple. Now we can see all of the different NFTs. Now you often want to look for a particular trait. So let's have a look at traits. And then we can just go and search traits. So as an example, Leo. The fur or skin of some apes is called leopard. So if we click on this one here and go back to listings, we'll see everything listed for sale. That's a leopard skin. It also shows the marketplace it's on. So this is Magic Eden, Magic Eden. Most of these are Magic Eden. That's Tensor's logo, Tensor. Down here, this is Solana Art. This is Solana Art as well, and Solana Art as well. Let's take away that trait. These ones here, this is Hate Swap. I'm not a big fan of Hate Swap. As I mentioned, they did do a lot of damage to the ecosystem. But if you like the ape and it's on Hate Swap, you can buy it. Let's say we like this ape. We can go and buy, or we can click on Bid. We can put on our bid and then we can execute the transaction. We don't have enough soul, so we can't complete this, but that's how it's done. You can also see the rarity factor here as well. 
This is a 10,000 supply collection, and the rarity of these are closer to 10,000, with the exception of this bubblegum ape being 3,661. If you want to change by rarity, you can use this here. Rare to common. And then you can go shopping for the rare ones if you like. Let's go back to collections. Let's find something that we can actually afford. We're going to buy it and then we're going to sell it pretty quickly. Let's have a look at Wolf Capital. This is not a suggestion that you buy Wolf Capital, as we're just going to buy it and then we're going to sell it. We're going to change this rarity, price, low to high. We're going to have a look and see what we like here. Sometimes you might go for what's called the floor, which is the lowest price available. However, other times, you might only have to pay a small amount extra, such as this one, and get one that you like a lot better. I don't know this collection, so I don't know what traits are valued, but you can normally just ask on Twitter and people from the community will help you out. So I think this one's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and we'll click on buy. And we can see everything here, as well as a royalty. There's a 4% royalty, and there's a small fee charged by the NFT marketplace. Now we can see it's 1.63 soul. And because it's so small, the royalty and the fee is added on, but Tensor only shows it to two decimal places. So it's more than 1.63 soul, just a little bit over. By the way, this icon, the double circle, that's a symbol for Solana. In our Phantom wallet, it's popped up with all of the information. We're gonna send this soul and we're gonna receive Wolf Capital NFT 817. Click approve. Order complete. Let's have a look at our wallet. Enter Phantom into our NFTs, Wolf Capital, and this is our NFT. It gives the description, some data here, and down here are some properties. So the background is blue, white fur, viper shades, sunglasses, and a cigar. Now, of course, if we want to, we can change this like this, so we can easily recognize this wallet like so. And as I mentioned, I think it's a good idea to keep your NFTs in one wallet and other funds set up in different wallets. So we've bought the NFT and in the future you may decide to sell it. Maybe the price has gone higher or lower, but either way you decided to sell it. So let's go and sell it. If we want to sell it instantly, we can just click on sell now and then click sell. And this will sell it for 1.39 sold because someone's put in a collection bid and they'll take it for this amount. In the end, we receive slightly less, but pretty much 1.39 sold. We'll cancel that and we'll try the list approach. So we can click on list and here we can list it for what we want. So we might go for two sold. The buyer would see 2.11 sold. That's what they see when you factor in fees and royalties. Royalties are a percentage of the NFT price that go directly to the team. So in this case, the Wolf Capital team. Let's execute this transaction and approve. Go back into our Phantom wallet, into our NFTs, and we do not have the NFT anymore as we've sent it to Tensor. They're holding it on behalf of us. If we click on bids, we can see all of the bids that other people have placed with the amount that they're willing to spend. If we click on orders, we can see the activity of people bidding or buying them. And you know about trades. If you want to place your own collection bid, you'll just do this here. This is a little bit more advanced, so we'll cover this in the intermediate course. Let's go back to the buy market. Come over to the left hand side and click on checkout. It's currently on sell. We'll change it to buy. Then we can toggle this off. And if we scroll on down at two sol, wherever that is, we can see clearly our NFT. We can also see our NFTs by coming up to our wallet address and activity. If we've received any placed offers, they'll be shown here. We can see all of the inventory in our wallet if we had more than one NFT, but under activity, we can clearly see that we've just listed it. We can click on it and we can delist it to remove it from the marketplace or relist it, or we can just sell it. I'm just gonna sell it now. I'm gonna sell it for this price, lose a little bit of soul, but you can see we'll receive this amount. Click approve, order complete, close that. You can see at the top, our wallet balance is now a little bit higher, 1.75. And if we go into our Phantom wallet, there's nothing in our NFT section and we can see our Solana value has increased. We can normally see it in our transaction panel under recent activity, but it doesn't show the actual Solana entering like this one. But if we clicked on it 
and viewed it on SoulScan, we would see something a little bit complicated, but there would be a soul balance change. And here we can see this amount of Solana went to my address. But in a couple of tutorials time, we'll cover SoulScan. So that's how you buy and sell NFTs on Tensor. As mentioned, I'll cover more Intel and Alpha on how to pick great NFTs in the intermediate course. But for now, the next course in our tutorial series is all about how to use Jupiter. So dive into that one. Stay curious, catch you in the next video.